All right, so we can start our second session right now. And this is a, a review for you. You can listen and practice along, all right? 3.1. I have with me two experts, Professor Keane and Dr. Blavatnik, and we're going to discuss predictions made over a hundred years ago by the American engineer, John Watkins. Professor Keane, what did you think about John Watkins' predictions? They were amazingly accurate. One of his predictions was wireless telephone circuits will cross the world. This sounds very similar to the internet. And Watkins made the prediction before computers and just after the invention of the telephone. That's right. He also predicted newspapers will publish color photographs of an event one hour later. We can do this now with digital cameras and news websites. But in 1900, this was an extraordinary thing to predict. Absolutely. What other things did he write about? Well, he also predicted ready-cooked meals. And today we buy ready-cooked meals from supermarkets. Yes, that's right. Watkins believed that we would buy the meals from bakeries, which is very close. Indeed. So, Dr. Blavatnik, are there any predictions Watkins got wrong? Well... He predicted all fast traffic within the city will be below ground or above ground level. I think traffic here means any kind of fast transport rather than just cars. He probably meant trains and buses as well. So he was partly right. Yes, he was. Subway systems in big cities mean that a lot of traffic in Watkins sense is underground. However, it is unlikely that all traffic will be below ground or above ground level in the future. I think you're right about cities that already exist, like New York and Tokyo. I think they will have some traffic running at ground level. But for new cities, cities that we build in the future, we will probably use subway systems or overground monorails. But it is likely that there'll be a car-free zone in the centre of big cities. Good. OK. Can we look at the next prediction? Powerful electric light will speed up the growth of vegetables. This is another amazing prediction. Artificial light is used in greenhouses. And what about the future? Will we use electricity to grow vegetables in the next hundred years? No, we definitely won't. It's a waste of electricity, basically. There are some cutting-edge companies that can grow vegetables in very hot areas without fresh water and that only use natural light. It's a very efficient system, and in the future, it might be the main way we produce fresh vegetables. Yes, that makes sense. We probably won't have enough electricity to heat or light greenhouses in the future. I'm sure that the global population will grow so fast in the next hundred years We'll only use natural resources like sunlight. And we will definitely use fresh water more carefully. Water will be our most precious and important resource in the next hundred years. With the right technology, it is possible that there will be enough water for everyone. Some areas may actually run out of water if climate change continues. As weather patterns change, some places may not get any rain for years. So we really do have to... Okay, thank you very much. So now we finish the review. Let's go to our main lesson today. And this is the grammar focus. And it is very important. Please pay attention, right? So here we have ABC until I. And they want you to put ABC until I here on the, lines, the scale line here. Okay, so now let's do it one by one together. So A will probably, B probably won, C definitely won, D will definitely, E might, F may, G is likely, H is unlikely, I is possible. Okay. Again. Will probably, probably won't, definitely won't, will definitely, may, may, is likely, is unlikely, is possible. Okay, now we can do it again. I will probably, 
B probably won't see in the in the formally won. D will oh, no. be which one? Which one? Hello, hello, again, again. Yes. Probably won. B. B probably won. C in the netly won. D will no, no, in, in no, in just that. Ah, yeah. Hello, we're again, please. Oh, definitely gone. Oh, yeah, it's hard. See oh, again. Oh, I see. Definitely one. D. Will definitely. E. My. F. May. G. Is likely. X. Is unlikely. I. Is possible. Okay. Uh, vulnerable camera. Read again. Yeah, teacher. A will probably, B probably won't, C definitely won't, D will definitely, E might have, may, G is likely, H is unlikely, I is possible. Okay, thank you very much. So now, if what they want you to do with this exercise, they want you to put them on the scale here. So this one we have zero percent. Uh, this one is fifty percent, and this one is a hundred percent. And we also have the middle here, twenty-five percent, and this one is seventy-five percent. All right. So there is one example for you. You can see definitely one here. We let the C is zero percent. So C finish already now zero percent. And uh, now I can give you one more example. Which one do you want me to give? Hello everyone. I I want to give you one more example. Which one do you want me to give? This is one example already here. Let us see here. Do you want to get one more example? Unlikely. Okay, uh, unlikely. This one, right? Letter A, correct? Yes, unlikely. It's unlikely. So letter A is 25%. Okay, so the rest, I want you to put them on the temp scale here by yourself. And uh, I think you can have around five minutes to think about that. Uh, we do it slowly because we have to wait for your friend and you have to make all your answer correct. All right, guys, so there are two examples for you, letter C and letter H. The rest, please do it by yourself. You have five minutes. And we will check the answer together at uh, 119. Okay, please do it by yourself now.
OK, now uh, time is up. Let's check the answer together. All right, number OK, not number letter A. We, where, where should you put letter A? Seventy five percent. Seventy five percent will probably. Okay, how about probably one? Twenty five. Yeah. What is it? Twenty five percent. Okay, okay, let it be. OK, how about will definitely? Hello? One hundred. Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, how about letter E? Fifteen. Fifteen, not fifteen. E. How about May? One hundred. May one hundred. Wow. Okay, how about E slightly? Twenty-five. How about is possible? Fifty. Fifty. Okay. Okay. So now let's check your answer. Okay. Now. So we have B correct. This one we don't have K. This one. Okay. Not F is not here. F is here, E, F, I, and this one, uh, A, G, L, we don't have L here, and we don't have J here. So your answer is correct now. All right, so now I want you to pay attention on, I want to give you some example. Now before we continue with L, J, K here, I just want to write some sentence for you, and sometimes you don't know, teacher, how do we translate this one into my language? Now I give you two examples only. Now I will, I will definitely, okay, sorry. I will definitely try to study. And one more you say, I, I probably won't, probably won't, try to study so what do what is the difference between the tools and turn here when you say i will definitely try to study a hundred percent you do it okay you you are confident you are sure with yourself you do it a hundred percent but when you say i probably won't that is only 25 percent here 25 percent that you are going to do it. So you see the sentence are the same. You change only one here. You change the meaning. One is 25 percent. One is 100 percent. OK, guys. OK, that is the difference between. The word or phrase is here. OK, now we have we have a K, we have L and we have J. So J here, I am sure X will. So I am sure X will 100 percent. And K, I don't think X will. And this one is 25%. I don't think. I don't think you will come. I don't think you will come to school. So that one is 25% you come. Okay. I mean, 70% you don't come. 55% you come. And when I say I think X will here, this one letter L, 75% here. I'll letter L here. But you have to take note, all right, with uh, the, you have to take note with this. They have three things that you have to take note. They have only three phrases here, all right? Now you can see here we have is likely, 
is unlikely and is possible that you have to take note. You can see here the sentence start with it is likely that there will be a car free zone. It is unlikely that this one it is likely 75 percent. It is unlikely 25 percent. It is uh, possible 50 percent. Right? We learn. I, I I'll just draw for you. Uh, but the the form the sentence structure is the same. It is likely that it is unlikely that it is possible plus subject. Okay, this one we call subject, and then plus will here, plus will. Only three of them do do that. The other other do not do that. But what will probably probably one definitely one will definitely. Different. You can see here. We can put subject I, V, U, they, he, see it. John, Mary, Jane. With Mary will definitely uh, pass the exam. Okay. Uh, Cameron may get grade A from my subject. All right. Now I can say that Harlan definitely won't go home. Just, just, just. So we have the name. You can use the name. I will use the it with the address, but with likely, unlikely is possible. You have the structure. You must start with it is like. It is likely that it is that something like that. Okay. Any question with this, everyone? No, yeah. Okay, if you don't have a question, let's continue to the next one. The next one is the exercise. Okay, you have to practice this one. If you don't have a question, let's see. You can do them or not, but I'm going to give you two examples. Okay, please don't worry. Okay, now number one. So they want you to read the sentences, number one until number 10 here. And then they want you to write a second sentence with a similar meaning to the first. Now, we will definitely prevent malaria by 2050. And they want you to write a new, a new sentence start with I am. Okay, so you see will definitely. How many percent will definitely? Yeah? 100. Okay, if you go to our uh, lesson here, will definitely is 100 person. You can see here will definitely let D and D is 100%. And one more also 100% was it J, right? Okay, right, guy, everyone, can you see? Is it small for you? Letter J, right? J. And uh, J here 100%. So J, I am sure X will. I am sure X will. I can refer subject. So then you can make a sentence like this. I am sure we will, we delete definitely prevent malaria. I am sure we will prevent malaria by 2050. Your sentence is correct now. Okay, now look at one more example. People will probably grow taller in the future. So will probably, how many percent? Will probably here. So 75%. Okay, 75%. And 75%, how many more phrases we have? I, uh, I'll. I'll. I'll, what is it? I think. I think X will, right? Yes. X will. And one more? It's likely. It, it, it's likely. It's likely. And now number two here, they want you to start the sentence with it is. So which one do you choose? I think it will or it's likely? Likely. It likely. So it likely, if you put it likely here, it's likely and then you keep the same subject, people will definitely we delete it. So you can say it is likely that people will grow taller in the future. Okay, now I want you to try number three and number 10 by yourself. 
Is it okay? Hello. Hello, Shah. Yeah, I want you to try number three and number 10 by yourself. Is it okay? I want to ask you a question about the word. So how do you know that will probably is 75%? Oh, you are late for the class. You are late for yeah. the class. You look at this slide. Okay. 0%, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. Yeah, okay, I Pandan? decoded. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, that's why. All right, how about this? Number three until number 10, I'm going to ask you to do it by yourself. Is it all right, everyone? Yes. Okay, so if you want to do it, I'm going to give you around, I think maybe 10 minutes is for you. If you have a question, you can ask me. If you don't have, we will check the answer at 1.40. Okay, please do it.
Okay, now time is up. Let's check the answer together. Okay, number three. Uh, let's start with uh, Cameron. Cameron, number three, please. Um, number three. Uh, it is unlikely that the Earth uh, cool down in the next 50 years. It is unlikely that the Earth cool down in the next 50 years. Is this your answer? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so I want you to pay attention on this one. If you say it is unlikely that the earth, so the earth, you have to add one more wheel here. Yeah, yeah, sir. Okay. All right, so it is unlikely that the earth will cool down in the next 50 years. All right, thank you very much. Number four, the way. Number four, I am sure there won't be a col colony on mayor in my lifetime. Okay, I am sure there won't be a colony on Mars, not mayor, in my lifetime. Okay, I am sure there won't be. Thank you very much. Number five, uh, Suklin. I'm not sure about that. You can but try. Okay. We we might we may that in the future it will be possible to fly from New York to Tokyo in less than two hours. We might. Okay, you can say we might or we may. You can see here. You can clean this one, clean this one up. We may fly from New York to Tokyo in less than two hours in the future. Okay, can you read again, Suklin? Yes, yeah, teacher. So we may fly from New York to Tokyo in less than two hours in the future. All right, thank you very much. Okay, number six. Number six. I would like to ask Srinit. Srinit, can you do number six? Oil reserves. Now, Srinit is not available. Okay, Panandan. Panandan number six. Um, oil reserve will run out by 2050. Oil reserve will run out. Yes, sir. So then you just delete. It is likely. So it is likely how many percent? It's about twenty-five. Ah, unlikely twenty-five. Likely is not twenty-five. Oh. Likely oh, is twenty-five. I was confusing about that because I'm not sure about this. I do it with my own opinion. Oh. That's why I am afraid okay, I, to... I, I say sure. something for you here. This one, 0%, 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Okay? Yes, sir. This one, 75. So, 25, we have A, will probably. We have G, is likely. And we have L, I think X will. And for our exercise, we cannot do L. So, we have to do A. So, A, what is it? Oil reserves will probably... Oh run out by 2050. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, number seven. Number seven, Chanti. Number seven, we don't think that we will find intelligent life. Uh, we don't think. You have to look at this one, the subject from here. We will. So then we want to delete this one here. So it is likely that. It is likely that 25%. So 25% probably won't, right? So we probably won't find intelligent life on another planet. Very easy. Okay, number eight. 
Turrellin. It is uh, likely that new paper will be. Hmm. Again. It is likely that the newspaper will disappear. Will disappear. If you use it is likely, likely seventy five percent, and may here only fifty percent. You make mistake already. You change the meaning. Yeah. Which one is fifty percent? Oh, it is possible. Uh, okay. So it is possible that print newspaper will disappear. Okay, number nine. It is possible there will be a direct train line between the UK and China by 2100. So this one we may delete. The, oh, sorry. We may delete this one out. If you want to write, you start from here. But what does it mean possible? Possible, you can say may or might. Then there, you can say there might be a direct train or maybe a direct train between the UK and China by 2000. Now number 10, I do it for you. I am sure car will become hand free. So the word I'm sure here, 100%, right? Now you want to start a sentence with car, so car will, will what? Hmm? 100%? Hello? Definitely. Okay, definitely. Not definite, definitely. Don't forget Lee. Okay, car will definitely become hand free. Okay, so now let's practice reading this together. Maybe after we read, we can improve it. Okay, now we'll start with the V. The V, you read the answer, okay? I read the exercise. Now, number one, we will definitely prevent malaria by 2050. I am sure we will prevent malaria by 2050. People will probably grow taller in the future. It is likely that people will grow taller in the future. Taller, not taller. Okay, uh, number three. Taller. Number three, the earth probably won't cool down in the next 50 years. It is, it is unlikely that the earth will cool down in the next 50 years. Number four, there definitely won't be a colony on Mars in my lifetime. I am sure there won't be a colony on my in my lifetime. Number five, in the future, it might be possible to fly from New York to Tokyo in less than two hours. Hmm? Hello? Oh, why I cannot hear from you? We may fly from New York to Tokyo in less than two hours. In the future. Okay, number six. It is likely that oil reserves will run out by 2050. Hello, teacher. Yeah? Are you finished? Can you hear from me? Oh. The way you okay? <laughs> Okay, Cameron, continue then. Cameron, you continue with me, number number six, all right? It is likely that oil reserves will run out by 2050. Oil reserve will probably run out by 2050. Okay, number seven. It is unlikely that we will find intelligent life on another planet. We probably won't find intelligent intelligent lies on another planet. 
Number eight, print newspaper may disappear. It is possible that print newspaper will disappear. Number nine, it is possible there will be a direct train line between the UK and China by 2100. There might be a direct train line between the UK and China by 2100. Number 10, I am sure cars will become hand-free. Cars will definitely become hand-free. Okay, do you have any question from this, everyone? Hello, Chair. Yes, do you have a question? What does it mean, colony? Ah, colony control. Control. Yes, sir. Uh, Occupy, occupy. Just like uh, you go to one place and you uh, occupy the place. You so build what the about house. The, what about reserve? Yeah, reserve. Yes, reserve sir. means you store. It means store? Uh, not, not, not store like a shop. You store it in some place to keep it to use when you don't have you know i understand market. what you mean yeah. like uh, it will be uh, remaining or in in its place like a uh, underground or like that or not you, uh, you can you can you can keep anywhere but reserve here I mean you are not going to use it until you have no choice you get it okay like, like if you want to open a bank in Cambodia, then you need to reserve some money in the national bank. You may reserve $10,000 or $20,000 there. You just keep your money there to reserve. In case your bank has a problem, for example, you cannot uh, uh, return money back to the people who deposit or any problem, and then the national bank going to use the money that you reserve to solve the problem, to sort out the problem. That is reserve. To keep oh yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, to I keep got something it. when you, you can use it when when it is not available. Okay. Yes sir. Okay, okay. Not not only just oil about everything. Okay, now thank you very much. So now let's go to the next one. Okay, this is the listening. Listen to three young professionals talk about their future. Make a note of the answer to the questions in the table. So we have number one, two, number three question. Will you buy your own house or apartment? Number two, will you have more than one child? Number three, will you work until you are 70? So this question asked to three people here. The first one is Yolanda, Dimitri and Haruka. And there is one example for you. Will you buy your own house? Yolanda say probably won 25 percent. She buy. She probably won. How about the metric? It possible. It is likely. Definitely will. Probably will. Or what? And Haruka. And all of the answer here. So I will play the tape for two times. You can listen and complete the table. Okay, guys. Page 32 here. Right, so now let's go. Ready? Okay, go. 3.2. So Yolanda, do you think you'll ever buy a house or apartment? Well, I'm living with my parents right now and I'm trying to save enough money to rent my own apartment. Most people where I live rent. Property is so expensive. So I probably won't buy a house. So I probably won't buy a house. Okay, this is number one. So the rest do it by yourself. How about you, Dimitri? It's the same situation in my country. Houses are too expensive. For me, a house costs 10 times my salary for one year. So I don't think I'll be able to afford a house until I'm in my 40s. I'm 25 now, so that's a long time to wait. But who knows? It's possible. 
And what do you think, Haruka? I'm married, and my partner and I are saving to buy a house. So we might have enough money in about ten years' time. But it depends on house prices. They may go up or down. No one really knows. It's the same with the economy. Some people think it will get better, others are sure it will get worse. So it's really hard to plan anything long term. How about family? Do you have any plans? I want to have a family, but I probably won't have more than one child. These days, it's very expensive to have children. Education, clothes, food, everything costs a lot of money. How about you, Dmitri? I love kids, but I don't think I'll have a family. And you, Haruka? We'll definitely have more than one child. But I'm working now and I'm still young, so I probably won't have a baby just yet. Also, I'll probably quit work when I have a family, so I need to save up fast. Will you go back to work? It's unlikely. People expect you to look after your family and for the husband to have a career. How long do you think your husband will work for? Probably till he's 65. I'll probably work till I'm 70. I'm sure you'll be rich and famous before then. As for me, it will depend on our financial situation, but I'd like to finish work before I'm 65. So it's unlikely I'll work till I'm 70. Okay, so now let's listen again. 3.2. So, Yolanda, do you think you'll ever buy a house or apartment? Well, I'm living with my parents right now, and I'm trying to save enough money to rent my own apartment. Most people where I live rent. Property is so expensive. So I probably won't buy a house. How about you, Dmitri? It's the same situation in my country. Houses are too expensive. For me, a house costs 10 times my salary for one year. So I don't think I'll be able to afford a house until I'm in my 40s. I'm 25 now, so that's a long time to wait. But who knows? It's possible. And what do you think, Haruka? I'm married, and my partner and I are saving to buy a house. So we might have enough money in about 10 years' time. But it depends on house prices. They may go up or down. No one really knows. It's the same with the economy. Some people think it will get better. Others are sure it will get worse, so it's really hard to plan anything long term. How about family? Do you have any plans? I want to have a family, but I probably won't have more than one child. These days, it's very expensive to have children. Education, clothes, food, everything costs a lot of money. How about you, Dmitri? I love kids, but I don't think I'll have a family. And you, Haruka? We'll definitely have more than one child. But I'm working now and I'm still young, so I probably won't have a baby just yet. Also, I'll probably quit work when I have a family, so I need to save up fast. Will you go back to work? It's unlikely. People expect you to look after your family and for the husband to have a career. How long do you think your husband will work for? Probably till he's 65. I'll probably work till I'm 70. I'm sure you'll be rich and famous before then. As for me, it will depend on our financial situation. But I'd like to finish work before I'm 65. So it's unlikely I'll work till I'm 70. Okay, All right. So now let's check the answer together. Number one, will you buy your own house or apartment? Probably won't. How about Dimitri? Uh, it's possible. Okay, it's possible. Haruka? Bye bye. Yeah? Bye bye. Again, please. Sorry, I cannot get it. 
get it from you. So can you speak louder? Severe by. Severe by. Will he not? We have to help. Will def. Will definitely. Will probably. Will definitely, sir. Yeah. Might. Not will definitely. <laughs> might. Okay. She might buy. She doesn't know whether she can sell money or not. It depends on the economic. The house price is going up or going down. All right. Okay, number two. Will you have more than one child? Yolanda. Won't have more than one. Won't have more than one. Okay. Uh, we we your answer is okay, but we don't want to get the uh, answer like that. We want to get probably one is possible. My may will probably probably will. Okay. Slightly probably unlikely. One, this one probably one. All right. How about Dimitri? Hello, hello. Do you want to listen again? Probably um, want to. Okay, somebody say probably won't. How about Soklin? What do you want to say? Um, it's. Uh, I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Uh, not really. Yes. I don't think it will. This one definitely won't. Okay, I think I should play the tape for you again. Now let's listen again, everyone. Here we go. 3.2. So, Yolanda, do you think you'll ever buy a house or apartment? Well, I'm living with my parents right now, and I'm trying to save enough money to rent my own apartment. Most people where I live rent. Property is so expensive. So, I probably won't buy a house. Yolanda, I probably won't buy a house. How about you, Dimitri? It's the same situation in my country. Houses are too expensive. For me, a house costs 10 times my salary for one year. So I don't think I'll be able to afford a house until I'm in my 40s. I'm 25 now, so that's a long time to wait. But who knows? It's possible. No, it's possible. And what do you think, Haruka? I'm married and my partner and I are saving to buy a house. So we might have enough money in about 10 years. We have, we are saving money to buy the house. They might have enough money to buy a house. Right? Time. Ten but it depends on house prices. They may go up or down. No one really knows. It's the same with the economy. Some people think it will get better. Others are sure it will get worse. So it's really hard to plan anything long term. How about family? Do you have any plans? I want to have a family, but I probably won't have more than one child. Ulanda said, I want to have a family, but I probably won't have more than one child. These days, it's very expensive to have children. Education, clothes, food, everything costs a lot of money. How about you, Dimitri? Hey, how about you, Dimitri? I love kids, but I don't think I'll have a family. I love kids, but I don't think I have a, a family. And you, Haruka? When you say I don't think I have a family, it means you definitely won't have a kid. <laughs> okay, so now the rest listen by yourself. We'll definitely have more than one child, but I'm working now and I'm still young. So I probably won't have a baby just yet. Also, I'll probably quit work when I have a family, so I need to save up first. Will you go back to work? It's unlikely. People expect you to look after your family and for the husband to have a career. How long do you think your husband will work for? Probably till he's 65. I'll probably work till I'm 70. I'm sure you'll be rich and famous before then. As for me, it will depend on our financial situation, but I'd like to finish work before I'm 65, so it's unlikely I'll work till I'm 70. All right. So will you have more than one child, Haruka? Uh, 
Uh, probably Steve. won't. Probably won't. Oh, are, you, are you sure? Should I play again? Yeah, definitely. Definite, definitely. Yeah. Oh, definitely will. A short answer. When you write, when you answer short one, you say definitely will. In the right, so full sentence, you say I will definitely. Okay. Will you work until you are seventy? You learn that. Probably one. It is unlikely. Okay. Actually, it is unlikely and probably one the same meaning, but uh, she used probably one two times, so she doesn't want to say it again. She said unlikely. How about Dimitri? Probably. Probably will. How about Haru Haruka? Unlikely. It's unlikely. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so this video is being recorded. You can listen in, listen to it again, right? I will upload on YouTube, and uh, you can practice more with it. Now let's go to this video. I want. Do you want to watch video? Oh. Yeah. Oh. No. No, you don't want to watch, right? Okay, this video is about your license. Um, it is about one of the city called Mazda in uh, Arabi, South, Arabi Emirate. And the building now is being built. And it is projected to finish in 2020. And there are a lot of phrases, you know, especially like, will definitely, probably, won, is likely, is possible, definitely, won. Uh, in 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 the video. So the reason I want to play this video for you, because I want you to listen and find out uh, the phrases that they use with prediction. But that's okay. You want you don't want to take note. But how about other students? Do you want to watch this one? Yes. This is not a movie, okay, guys? This is just about your lesson. So about one of the building which is being uh, built in a, uh, in, in middle uh, in a Arab Emirate. So you can watch and hope you practice your listening, especially with will definitely won or whatever here. So here we go. What will life be like in the future? Where will we live? How will we travel? In the United Arab Emirates, they're building a new city that might answer some of these questions. Mazdar is a walled city 17 kilometers from Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. British architects Foster and Partners designed the city and the Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company is in charge of the Mazda project. They both believe the city shows us what life is likely to be like in the future. They say that the city will probably become a major business hub. It will have excellent amenities, state-of-the-art buildings and integrated infrastructure. In fact, there are already several global institutes in the city. There's the International Renewable Energy Agency and the Mazda Institute of Science and Technology. The city's planners think that in the future, around 40,000 people may live in Mazda. Another 50,000 people will probably commute from other areas of the United Arab Emirates. Mazda is in a very hot location, but the city's design will keep it cool. The streets will be narrow, so they will funnel like breezes, and there will always be shade from the surrounding buildings. There probably won't be any cars either, so there won't be any heat from traffic pollution. Visitors to Mazda will have to leave their cars outside the city's walls and take public transport. They'll take the personal rapid transport system. 
This system will use small pods. People will get into a pod in one of the city stations, choose their destination on a touch screen and travel along these magnetic tracks. The design will be safe, easy to use and good for the environment. But most people will travel on foot. The city will be designed to encourage walking. There will be lots of stairs and there won't be many lifts. And because it is unlikely that there will be any cars, there will be lots of space for pedestrians. The city will be clean, green and energy efficient. The Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company won't complete the project until after 2025, but they are sure the city will be a great place to work and to live. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to our next lesson. We're going to finish this one together right before we say goodbye. OK, uh, choose. No need to choose five questions, but you have to answer all of them. Now we have question number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, the question start with the beginning here. In the next hundred years, do you think people will stop commuting? They will live and work in the same building. OK, number two, in the next hundred years, do you think children will learn online? School will only be for learning social skills. And number three, travel to other countries will be limited to top business peoples and celebrity. Number four, in the next hundred years, do you think most people will live in cities? Number five, in the next hundred years, do you think all city will have free wireless connectivity? Number six, in the next hundred years, do you think food will be produced in factories? The countryside will be used only for laser activity. And number seven, in the next hundred years, do you think travel using carbon based transport will be banned? OK, Singhai, can you read again, please? Choose five questions from the list to ask other people in the class. Make a note of people's answers in the table below. In the next hundred years, do you think people will stop commuting? They will live and work in the same building. Number two, children will learn online. School will only be for learning social skills. Three, Travel to other countries will be limited on to top business people and celebrities. Four, most people will live in the city. Five, all cities will have free wireless connectivity. Six, food will be produced in factories. The countryside will be used only for leisure activities and seven, Travel using carbon based transport yeah. will be banned. OK, for this one, I want you to follow this exercise so you can give us only the short answer. Right, this one called short answer. Now I give you one example or two example. Number one, people will stop commuting. So, do you think for me? I say uh, it's unlikely this is number one it's unlikely okay number two do you think children will learn online i see definitely will okay everyone can you answer number one until number one here by yourself follow my answers example yes Hello, can you hear me, everyone? No. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay, yeah. okay, 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 yeah. So you have five minutes. Do it. We check the answer at uh, one twenty. 
Let me call you to answer the question.
Okay, so now time is up. Let's check the answer together. Okay, now let's check the answer together. Uh, you have different answer for sure. So I think I'm going to start with uh, Mr. Pat. Okay, in the next 100 years, do you think people will stop commuting? Stop commuting means they don't travel. They live and work in the same building. Oh, Pat, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay, speak louder. It may, teacher. It, it what? May, may. It may be. No, yes. maybe don't do with it here. From the prediction here, you should say maybe 50%. So it's possible. It's possible. If you say may, you say they may. Okay. Hello? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, okay. How about that? We number two. In the next hundred years, do you think children will learn online? Now oh, that we got problem now with internet, I guess. Okay, so I will ask Linda. Linda, in the next hundred years, do you think children will learn online? Um, yeah, definitely, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. So, Lin, do you think that in the next hundred years, uh, sorry, do you think travel to other country will be limited to top business people and celebrities? Oh, I cannot hear from Soklin. Hello, Soklin. <laughs> okay. Hello. Okay, now I can hear. Okay. Yes. In my opinion, I think it is possible. In my opinion, I think it is possible. Okay. <laughs> uh, you 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 don't need you don't need to say in my opinion. When you say it's possible, this is your opinion already. Okay. We know that this is your opinion. I mean you say that is it fifty percent? All right. Thank you very much. And Cameron, number four, please. In the next hundred years, do you think most people will live in cities? Uh, it's definitely teacher. It's definitely no, not it definitely. Just say definitely will. Yeah. You can say most people definitely will, will definitely, or they will definitely, or definitely will. Okay? Yes. Not, not, not it definitely. It will use with likely, unlikely, and possible only. Remember that. Yes. Okay, now we go to the next one. Um, okay, this one I would ask, I don't know who I should ask. All internet are very poor. Okay, sing hi. Number five. In the next hundred years, do you think all city will have free wireless connectivity? It's uh, definitely will. Def no, it again. You say it all the time. <laughs> right? Just say definitely one. No need to say it. Okay, sing hi. Yes, sir, yes. Okay, okay, Mr. Panan, number six. In the next hundred years, do you think food will be produced in factory? Unlikely that, yeah. Yeah? I think it's unlikely. Yeah, it's, it's unlikely. Okay, and number seven. In the next hundred years, do you think travel using carbon based transport will be banned? This is for me. Okay. Okay, travel using bubble band definitely. 
So remember, if you want to answer the question, you just follow this. Will probably, probably won't definitely. Will definitely, may, may, is likely, is unlikely, is possible. Yeah, that is the way you can answer the question. Short answer. All right, guys. Thank you very much for today. See you again next week. Enjoy your next subject. Goodbye for now. Thank you. Please review the answer. Goodbye, Okay, bye. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Hello, man. Oh, yeah.